to your uh, study. You mm -hmm. see. Uh, because here, you see, it doesn't help me very much when you say that, that you know, it's general. Mm -hmm. When you say that uh, the confrontation, you know, will provoke, and cruels too. Right. Cruels too. Because, uh, you see, in my opinion, neither one of these uh, uh, writers uh, came with a uh, uh, pure objective. They didn't. They didn't. They liked this objectivity, mm -hmm. see, and uh, uh, so that they, that you could easily be pulled one way, uh, completely uh, out of sorts with with reality. Yeah, I, it's funny. I'm going to be writing a review of Wright's American Hunger, which is the section of his uh, autobiography, Black Boy, which deals with his experiences with the party. Mm -hmm. And it <coughs> struck me that that section was unrealistic. Yeah, unrealistic. In terms of his own experience. Mm -hmm. uh, because it talks about Chicago. Yeah. Now, I read that. Uh, it's my impression that he had a tough time with the party people in Chicago, yeah. but it was a very different story in New York. Yeah, uh, it was different in Chicago, too. Huh. So that he was exaggerating. He, the he, he exaggerated. He, he, tell, you see, he, he, he tells what, what was the truth. I, I, don't want, I don't want to get away from that. He does tell the truth. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but then he exaggerates it so much that he makes a caricature of, of, of the truth, see. Yeah, that's the impression that I get, but because yeah. I haven't done much on the see, Chicago there's, scene... There's a big black comrade. Oh, well, I know this is Hayward. See? Right, yeah. Uh, oh, but, 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 but it is, this isn't Hayward in the book. Right. <laughs> you know, Hayward is, is a mile. Right. Uh, he, he, he would never come down with a hammer and so forth. Uh, the party did all of these things. But <clears throat> you see, they would, he would do a better service uh, if he would tell how they did it. Right. But see, one of the they would do it, uh, they, they did it many times, you know, with kid gloves. You, you, you were struck, you were hit, and you didn't know what uh, hit you. Uh huh. You know. See, one of the things that was sort of funny is okay, Wright says that he sort of made a decision to sort of leave the party as an organization in 1936 when he was still in Chicago. Now, when I am going through all the daily workers, yeah. he's right in the thick of everything. Right. Uh, was, he a, was he a member in, of the party? Or? Sure, he was a member of the party. He, was, he worked for the daily worker. Uh -huh. Was he active in the Harlem section or was he tied in with a different section? Was he a, a member of a party unit? Well, he was with the cultural section, say, uh, the, 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 the cultural workers. Mm -hmm. Well, now, I, 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 now there, the stories that he tells uh, about the, the, the white liberals, you know, the, and this, the, I, it's true that he, you know, he would run more in mostly with white liberals, you know, of uh, Mobs and, uh, what is his name, Howard. Uh, Lawson? Howard Lawson, yes. And uh, and the others now, there were two or three of them who who, act, who actually understood the ideology, you see, of the party mm -hmm. and, and stood up for it, you know. But uh, the others never stopped being liberals. See, I get also get the impression so that... So he would naturally be a little bit uncomfortable in that aspect. He was, in other words, with the cultural workers downtown rather than uptown. Yeah, yeah. So he wasn't in, he wasn't tied in with the Harlem section. Not 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 in, not in the party party right. organization. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Um, did he you run a, when you know during those years did you have much contact with him in yeah, Harlem? Yeah, yeah. I we well we used to have rap sessions all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, him uh, Ted Ward. With him, Ted Ward, and uh, and Ralph Ellison. Uh -huh. You see, we were, you know, we were discussing uh, literature, the role of literature, and, and uh, mainly the idea of symbols to 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 to, to the writer and 
what how these symbols uh, operated uh, on them. Mm -hmm. uh, each one uh, with with with, with uh, Ellison. You know, I think I discussed this. Uh, Not in detail, I don't think. We well, well, anyway, with with uh, somebody had asked me, says oh, I should, maybe should write something on this. Um, but but it didn't go beyond that. You see, we didn't discuss politics at all. Um, when we were together, we discussed uh, literature. Mm -hmm. um, well, we discussed, you know, Proust and um, uh, the Irish writer. Yeats? No, no. Uh, Joyce? Yeah, Joyce, Proust, and Dostoevsky. And... Uh, and that, that contributions in the main. Then, then of course, how, uh, uh, what, what symbols were in their minds as they were writing. Mm -hmm. uh, and each would, would explain all this. So, uh, my contribution was as a listener. Uh, and with, with here and then, uh, a, a comment or two, uh, how is that, uh, mm -hmm. so. Well, uh, Ward, Ted Ward, who was a, was a playwright, of course. Yeah, he wrote a play called yeah. Big White Fog. Big White Fog. Now, he says, now that is his symbol. You see, uh, uh, according to him, you see, what, uh, what, uh, what the black man is, is fighting against, he's fighting against this big white fog that gets in his way every, at every turn, and he can't Managed to to break through that big white wall. Now all of his characters and and and, and uh, large and small mm -hmm. uh, relate to that. The, 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 that they they're confused in this fog and trying to get out of it. Well, um, Wright explained in, in quite some detail his symbol. His symbol was that of steel. You know, the steel in, enclosure. That his his uh, 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 <laughs> symbol of the black man was 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 Bigger Thomas. You see, Bigger Thomas when he was in this uh, prison, and here was the uh, white lawyer. Uh, what was it, his name? Max. Max. Oh, Max. 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 That's it. Max was trying to uh, uh, talk to him or convince him as to what he should do and so forth. And um, he would listen to this, and he, he was just enraged, you know, at this, uh, this, this jail confining him. And so that wherever the, the black went in this society, he was confined by these steel uh, cages, you see. And that was, this was a symbol that, that, that operated on his mind as he, as he, 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 he spun these uh, tales in, in his uh, fiction writing. Uh, and Ellison, with Ellison, his characters, or his symbol, you see, was, was the robe. You know, uh, here, here's the characters all travel the road. They were traveling around the road and, and the, their different experiences. But always, it, 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 this road was fraught with dangers at every turn, mm -hmm. you know. They never knew what was around the corner, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 where they were going to stop, and, and it had no end to it. This, this was, this, this, so the, we were discussing, you know, things of that sort. Now, they, they seem rather uh, light. They're not frivolous, but... But, 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 uh, sort of a... Yeah, but see, but, but, but if you read right, you would not ever get the impression that that kind of discussion could go on with a black Communist Party leader. Yeah. You'd get the impression that they would say, you know, art must be the crude servant of politics. Yeah, well, well which was the line of the party. But, but then, you, you, you see, with, with me, I'm being there, um, I was never, you know, one of these straight-jacketed mm -hmm. uh, people. Um, and also because I, I had a certain uh, aesthetic uh, appreciations 
to all the time. Um, well, I could understand what he was trying to do, mm -hmm. uh, and, and and none of this had any bearing, didn't touch on uh, the Communist Party, uh, but I, uh, uh, at, at that time, I wasn't interested in what it, uh, uh, where, it, where it touched, it, just whether or not the writer was pursuing the truth, that's mm -hmm. what I was interested in. Yeah. I'm just curious, is was Theodore Ward in any way related to this guy, Douglas Turner Ward? No. Uh, who was with this uh, with the Negro Ensemble Company? No, but Douglas, uh, Douglas Turner Ward worked with us, too. That is, uh, well, he was in the party. I mean. mm -hmm. And uh, he worked with me. I was on the daily work. He worked there. Huh. As Why did, what was it that uh, drove Ellison and Wright out of the party circles? Was it anything specific, or was just they drifted Ellison over? Ellison was never in. He was never in. He was just in he the movie. He was movement. around, you know. Uh, and, and with Wright, he was uh, just a hanger on. Mm -hmm. But he, we used to, I'd go to lunch with him and talk with him. So you had in Harlem a lot of people who could sort of be around the movement without being oh, disciplined yes, members. Yes. A whole lot of people could be like, like Reverend Licorice. Mm -hmm. see, he at that one time he, he was uh, he was uh, with, with he was sort of my protege mm -hmm. <laughs> at one time and whenever he had an idea he would have to discuss it with me you know when he was the assistant pastor at uh, Abyssinia um, so you had a lot of people like that so uh, and Wright was sort of in that kind of relationship he was. Uh, but he was a party member. But he was a party member. Yeah. Do you recall what it was that got that pushed him out? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it, it was some experience I think that he had with the uh, with the whites in the cultural movement. Uh, at least this is this is what you said. Mm -hmm. uh, because it, 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 his 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 uh, uh, experience is a bigger Thomas. This is what. You see, his his this character Max, you see, was uh, was uh, supposed supposed to have been a, a composite of the characters that he had uh, dealt with in the party. You mm -hmm. know, the, the 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 liberal who who um, who sees the poor suffering people. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, but never do, doesn't understand their motivations, their needs, their aspirations. You see, uh, he just wants to re rescue them from their suffering. That's all. Hmm. Well, well, this is this is how this is uh, this character of Max must have represented uh, the uh, uh, people in his experience within the yeah, because it's right. It seems that he turned against the movement pretty. Yeah, pretty bitterly. But as late as 1940, he was defending the Nazi Soviet pact and politically, and you know, at least in articles. Yeah, in the Daily well, I remember when his when his Baker Thomas was published. Mm -hmm. Well, well, of course, uh, at, at at that time, see, his Baker his Baker Thomas was such a uh, uh, not, 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 not an obscure character, but he was such an inscrutable character. See. Yeah, this Victor Thomas, you see, no one could understand him. Uh, and Green, the novelist from North Carolina, see, uh, discussed with uh, with uh, Wright about Victor Thomas. And he said, well, well one thing, he says, I can't understand. He says, I sympathize with your, your he, he was uh, uh, a pretty... I don't know whether you remember the name. Uh, Green was uh, quite a, a southern uh, writer mm. at the time, and uh, he uh, he says, but I, 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 there was no handle. I, I couldn't get a handle on him. <laughs> so he says, uh, but that that's a, that's a one one weakness that I have. Well, of course, I criticized him from a different point. Of view. Uh, I did. You know, I criticized it. I uh, organized. I bought uh, bought hall space, and <laughs> we we had a big discussion in Harlem. This was a big 
this this really was a uh, uh, really had its impact. Yeah, I know Ben Davis had a long, long review of that it. That was an answer to my uh, uh -huh. uh, criticism, see. And of course, I couldn't get uh, columns in the daily because they were closed. They closed out to me. They were all, you know, anybody who had to be for Richard Wright because Lee J. Jerome had decreed it. And oh, so the. <laughs> You mean so that criticism could only get in in a very veiled way? Yeah, yeah, in a very veiled way. So Ben, uh, uh, ben had a long, you know, well, you read it. Yeah, I read, yeah. yeah. See, ben had a long uh, piece in there, uh, going back to Dostoevsky, uh, Raskolnikov, and, uh, other, other Dostoevsky characters. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in order to show what what how what Richard uh, was that was up to, and it's, uh, of course uh, <laughs> this wasn't exactly true. See, what, that is uh, what what Richard was up up to. Uh, I don't say that. I do say now my appreciation of the novel is uh, has uh, changed somewhat. But he, uh, but he he does have. The, the character who is uh, inscrutable to the sense of uh, to the to the end that you, you, you wonder well now, now what the hell can you do with that? See, it's a man who, who who will not he doesn't understand he can only explode. See, that's all he can do. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, th this I think represents a basic uh, philosophy of uh, of uh, Richard. Because uh, when he left the Communist Party, he also left any kind of uh, organized discipline movement. You see, then he went over with the ex existentialists. Mm -hmm. You see, and he, he wrote a novel. His novel, the out outsider. The outsider, yeah. Now yeah. the outsider, which was a rotten novel, in a sense. Uh, because it, it, was, it, it began peddling the idea, or it was peddling the idea, that, uh, that some can be supermen. You see, some, some according, to, the, according to, to, to certain standards, mm -hmm. that is, you, you, can, you, can, you can use your disability to rise above humanity in such a way that any act that you commit, including murder uh, or anything else, uh, can be justified. 